If you watched Cartoon Network in the late 90s or early 2000s, then you've probably watched Johnny Bravo before. Johnny Bravo is an animated comedy series made for Cartoon Network in 1997. The show was produced by Hanna-Barbera, and it follows Johnny, a buff, cool guy who is always looking for a girlfriend, often getting rejected in the most painful ways. In his mind, Johnny thinks he has it all figured out, and you can't tell him any different, but he rarely, if ever, gets a drool to like him. It's always hilarious to watch these scenarios play out on the screen. In the show, Johnny lives with his mom, and almost every day, he is bothered by a young girl from the neighborhood named Little Susie. Another funny character on this show is Carl, who is voiced by Tom Kenny, a nerdy guy who is like Johnny's sidekick. Johnny bosses him around and uses Carl at his expense. Carl was usually just thrilled to be around Johnny because he looks up to him. Johnny Bravo was the second cartoon cartoon to become a full series on the network. It was a hit with Cartoon Network fans and had an outstanding run from 97 to 2004, producing four seasons consisting of 65 episodes with 179 segments in total. Also, two Johnny Bravo specials were made. Before Johnny became one of the most well-known Cartoon Network characters, he was an Elvis impersonator in a short titled Meso Blues. In 1993, creator of Johnny Bravo, Van Partible, was putting together his senior thesis project while attending Loyola Marymount University. It was originally going to be about three Elvis impersonators who thought they were rock stars, but because Van was doing a lot of the work himself, he cut out the other two and decided to focus on one character. The short film was screened in a theater at the school, and the audience loved it. Meso Blues received a standing ovation. Van Partible's professor showed the film to someone at Hanna-Barbera, and they thought it was fantastic. The studio then asked Van to make Meso Blues into a seven-minute pitch pilot. At this point, Van Partible decided to retool his concept and Johnny Bravo was created. After the initial screening of Meso Blues, it was never shown to the public. Luckily, 15 seconds of footage is shown in a Johnny Bravo documentary featured as an extra on a season one DVD. Also, a few animation cells were discovered in a YouTube video that was uploaded by the university where it was produced. A few years ago, I reached out to Van Partible via comment on his Facebook page asking about the pilot. Surprisingly, he responded saying he will never show it. I'm glad we can at least see what Johnny Bravo originally looked like, but it would be pretty cool to watch the short film one day. However, I totally understand if this is more of a personal project and Van doesn't want the public to see it.